What's good, YouTube? It's Rage Rail. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing y'all exactly how to run a Cover Six Mat. So if you enjoy this video, go and drop a like on the video right now. Go ahead and sub and turn on post notifications on. Now, if you enjoy any part of this video, if you can do me a favor, watch at least 30 seconds of any ad that you may see throughout the video. It'll help my channel out tremendously. Because if you didn't know, when you hit skip ad, I actually do not get paid. And I want to become a full-time YouTuber, so I would greatly appreciate that. So the reason I chose to do this video today, and like I said, the, today's video is going over extensively the cover six matches you can see right here. Now, a couple things that you want to know is most people they actually don't know how to run mats and you might not understand exactly how match works so i kind of wanted to do this video to kind of break it down so you can fully understand how to run match and let me know if you do like this because if you do i might consider uh showing you like cover six invert showing you the difference between that and cover six i might just show you uh you know cover six trap cover for palms you know like i could just extensively go into detail like i'm about to with this video and show you how to actually be effective running match coverage and understand how i can get busted and understanding what you can do to adjust um to make sure that you don't give up anything deep ever so let me know that you like it by hitting the like on the like button and so if you click on this video um congratulations because you're about to learn a lot of good information so first of all is one thing that you want to do i personally would recommend you do um is go to coaching adjustments and turn auto flip off now why do i say that real because what you don't want you don't want um your match covers to keep flipping so maybe one second um the cover two side is on the left side maybe one instance is on the right side so you want to stay consistent so that's the biggest thing that i can give y'all as a tip number one is stay consistent with where your match coverage is so that way you know exactly how you need to adjust because it all depends on per formation with the exact adjustment so as a base i'm going over a gun empty hawk so the only reason i'm doing that is i picked the seahawks and i know this is a popular formation inside the seahawks and it's going to do a good job of kind of showing you how to adjust in cover six uh so let's come out in cover six so one thing i do want to recommend is you put safeties at these linebacker positions um and i picked the giants just because they don't have a good team so to be able to show you that even if you don't have a good team it is still be able to uh do a great job with this match room so let's go to cover six me personally i like having my cover two side on the left every time now if you want to you can do yours with the cover two on the right every time um you just have to kind of do everything i'm telling you but opposite so anyway let's do a cover six with the um cover two on the left side now let's go to gun empty hawk and then let's just go to something like uh hawk slot post which is an extremely popular play so right here as you notice this is what the match coverage looks like initially now initially i'm just going to stay on the defensive line um and i'm going to show you exactly uh what everybody's responsibility is on this play so what you're going to notice of course is that nobody's on triangle he's open for a one play touchdown now i threw that late kind of on purpose uh because i wanted everybody to kind of get developed in their route so i can go into replay and show you exactly what everybody's responsibility is when it comes to cover six uh just for those y'all that don't know so let's take a look at this side so remember this is our cornerback this is our um soft squat or cloud fly I forget which one he's in but essentially what he's going to do since nothing goes vertical or anything he's actually going to carry number one and then he's going to just play like a normal you know soft squat to where he just looks for something to cover so that's what his responsibility is now right here a vertical hook since number one didn't go vertical he's not going to match onto number two so he's going to play like a normal vertical hook so he's going to carry this vertical just for a split second and he's going to come back and try to play this but he's going to come down and then just stay right here that's what his vertical hook is so since nobody went deep um that's why he plays that just like that now let's take a look at it right here so this right here is your three rec so what the three rec does it pretty much uh shades the number three receiver i say shades because it doesn't truly man match it it just shades under it so right here as you're going to tell he's going to kind of shade right here and then he's going to pass it off to the safety because the safety's job is to man up the number three receiver so that's why when he runs his route you see he's man onto that the whole entire way so let's take a look at this quarter flat right here so the quarter flat's job is to man up the number two so you see he, he kind of does inside shuffle for whatever reason and then he's actually going to break and cover that um cover that corner out because that's his man now right here he's actually going to man up the outside receiver so he's going to do a stop route and so that's why he's right here so picture this cornerbacks man on him he's man on that receiver He's shading number three. He mans up right here. He's going to play like a normal deep half. So, of course, what's open, bro? All of this, right? Everything back here is open. So, if he runs a, if he runs a post, which he did, nobody's going to be able to count for him. And that's because of the zone um, match principle. So, uh, just to show you that it kind of does work that way. So, you remember how I told you 
this cornerback mans up on the outside receiver to the number one. So the way to show you that is let's say we put him on a corner route. Right? I mean, not corner. Let's say we put him on a slant. Now, everything's still going to play the same, but watch how he actually follows him. Why? Because that's his man. You see how he follows him the whole entire way? That was just an example showing you that, yes, he actually does play it that way for the outside. Now, it kind of gets a little confusing if maybe send him on a um, slant number two because sometimes, um, depending on what else they do, you see right here how he actually runs with them. Why? Because that's his man, but he turns around and actually um, plays. He plays on a come. He plays on that um, drag coming back because his responsibilities just change. Because when that drag comes back, um, when that drag comes back across, he actually uh, follows that instead of his playing his man. So those are kind of different ways. I want. I just want you to explain to you exactly how cover six match works. So how can we use that to our advantage? So if we know that he's going to man up here, he's going to man up to the outside, and he's going to man up right here. How do I get somebody to play deep? So all you need to do is simply just put him in an inside third, right? So now we just told him, hey, you need to play inside third, right? So now watch what how, how everything plays out. Notice how nothing's going to change here. So what? Uh, you see how right there he actually follows that on triangle. And that's exactly what we want. So let me quickly hop into replay and just kind of show you that literally nothing's changed. Um, and then I'm actually going to show you what happens if you actually have your user. So if you include your user, if you blitz your user, then... Um, well, if you're using somebody, it don't really matter if you glitch yourself, but the, the assignments will kind of change a little bit, and I'll show you that here in a second. But anyway, this is just saying, like, picture if you wanted to just use your D lineman and then run out in coverage. So, like, if you wanted to use your this defensive end and then go out in coverage, how this is how your match would play, pretty much. And you'll see in a second what happens if you want to use, it, like, say, a three-red cook, because actually um, his responsibility changes. And sometimes his response, no, not his, he's in deep there. Sometimes his, depending on what you do. But anyways, what I wanted to show you is deep, deep half, right? Well, deep, middle third. So you see how right here, he's going to still do the same thing, how he shades number three. Um, cornerback still plays the same exact way. Vertical hook still plays the same exact way. Um, now, right here, he still plays the same exact way. He's still in match. And then he's still in match coverage too. So a lot of times people don't understand that if you just change one person's responsibility, everybody else still plays match. So to so so to show you that, let's say I wanted to take circle and put him on a deep half, right? And I wanted to take L1 and put him in a um in a mid middle third. So everybody's responsibility is gonna be the same exact way. But if you can recall, who's gonna be open? I want y'all to think about it. Who's gonna be open? So remember how we always have man on this right side right here? So theoretically. What you're going to notice is that circle is going to be the one that gets open. Why? Because we took his man and we said, hey, go play back deep. That's what I want you to do. So, of course, what? We'll have that open. So, this is just getting you to understand how your different adjustments will affect everybody else. So, essentially, if you wanted to play really good match coverage as a base coverage, what I would do, I would take this quarter and put him to a deep half. And then I would take this safety, put him in the middle third. And now I would take this lineman right here or linebacker because you could put a linebacker right here and I'll put him in a hard flat and now essentially we're going to have every single thing covered so let me go ahead and show you this real quick so you can kind of understand so you see how you're going to play a circle uh your user will be on square and then triangle is just not going to get open so that's pretty much you know how I like to play a base coverage of match for cover six so let's take a look at uh something else right so let's say let's see let's say I wanted to press put him in a deep half, put him like this. And now let's say we wanted to get our user involved, right? So what you're gonna notice is that uh, sometimes things can change. So actually, let me reset my play. Let me reset my play and kind of show you what I mean. So let's just say I wanted to put him in the middle third, right? And now I wanted to blitz my user and now I wanted to user him. So I wanted to rush forward, right? And then user him. So let me show you exactly what changes now. So we'll still do the three rex responsibility and it will come here. As you could tell, I mean, everything's just pretty much covered, but I want to go into replay and kind of show you the difference in you using somebody versus you using an alignment. So right here, as you recall, let's start right here. So you see how he still man matches, yes. He still matches right here, yes. Uh, we essentially did the three rex job. Now let's take a look at this side. So you see how he carries a vertical. And now he's going to break back down and follow this right here just like he did last time. And then what? We take this right here, right? So you can tell there's just literally nowhere to go with the ball. And we're seeing a base rush four. So as you know, we're going to have plenty of opportunity to get to the quarterback. So uh, I just kind of wanted to explain that real quick. So you might be thinking, well, okay, fine. This, this, Just this one play, right? It, it probably only works for this one play. So let's go to another play, right? So let's go to something like uh, inside cross. I know a lot of people run this inside cross concept. So let's just do say say we do the same base coverage, right? Let's just take him, put him there. And now if you want to, you could put him in a deep half. I suggest that, but I want to show you what happens if you don't. So maybe you didn't have enough time. 
Um, and what you're going to notice is that, what, we could follow him, we could play back, and then we can come and lurk that. Now, you notice how the quarter flat actually came back on there late. So, you might be saying, real, they could easily have that. But keep in mind, we're rushing forward. So, um, what I would do is probably drop this guy right here into a hard flat. You know, I just didn't, just to show you what happens if you wanted to do a base rush for. So, we'll, essentially, what we do is he's actually going to just wait for this drag. He's going to kind of just pass it off. Now, he's going to come back down and play this. And he might be thinking, well, that's wide open right here. And that's fine because in coverage, you're going to give up something. You can't cover every area of the field. You can just do your best to. So if you wanted to, if that was a problem, you could just take um, this cornerback and you can man him up right here. But when doing that, you'll give up, you know, this throw right here. So either way, you're going to give up something. It's just knowing exactly what you're going to give up. So right here, you just want to carry him up until the point where he goes back down. Or you can just take this person and put him in a hard flat. And then that's my preferred setup. And so if you want to know, real, what's your base setup or what would be your base setup, this is it right here. So I would take circle, put him in a deep half. I would take L1, put him in a, um, in a middle third. And then I would take circle and I'll put him in a hard flat. And now I would blitz my user. And so you could just do a base rush three or you could take square. You can put him in a spot if you want to. If you think he's fast quarterback or you can widen him out and you can quarterback contain. And you could do it, you know, just like this to now where he's going to contain um, and you could just run it honestly just like this so let me kind of show you that real quick i forgot what play i was in don't matter you're just going to use it like that come and then there's just nothing open so now i'm, I'm going to take you to a cross play so you can see exactly how that play looks so let's go to inside cross um now I'll take him put him in a deep path and you can press if you want to um that's completely up to you and you can do it just like this and then now you're ready you know so now okay drag okay cool i'll lurk that and now i'll come back up here and i mean look i mean just what's open you know and by that time they realize squares open you're already going to be over there so that's probably going to be pick regardless so let's just take a look at another play like i don't know let's look let's look at curl flats and we're going to do the same exact adjustment so uh just give me a second here all right so we're good like this and now all you're going to do is just play what's open you know so right here i'm sitting on circle i'm sitting on x and you might say okay circle's open right there so that's just something that you have to notate, right? So if they want to throw that, let's say they hurry up offense, right? So they're like, oh, yeah, I got something. I finally busted his match coverage. Now we'll just take him and put him in a purple instead of a hard flat. And just look how easy these adjustments are. So let's go back to curl flat. And um, let's say we use it. Boom. Okay, they try to throw circle. And then look, I mean, they're, they're basically throwing a pick. So it's just pretty much understanding exactly how match coverage plays. So that's pretty much going to be the video, though. Do let me know if you like these deep dive uh breakdowns of exactly how match coverage works because i know a lot of people are scared to run a match because they don't understand or when people get ran matched on they don't understand um exactly what's going on so this is just my small breakdown uh, like i said i just picked this formation just because it was the easiest to show it on but do let me know if you like these style of videos but anyways i hope you have a blessed day i'm rage real and i'm out